Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be doing a makeup and book related video. Baby, baby. Normally I don't look like this in my videos, well most of them I don't. Um, but yeah, I don't have any makeup on right now. I'm gonna first put this clip in my hair right now so I can see when I talk to you. Um, <laughs> um, so basically, I really wanted to do the makeup and books tag, but I don't feel like I like those questions anymore. Um, I'll link down below the makeup and books tag that I did. One of the first years I started my channel, like either the first or second year I started my booktube channel. And looking back on it, I haven't rewatched it. Goodness me, I don't want to rewatch it. Um, but I did look at those questions and I don't really like them personally anymore. Like I don't really want to answer those, you know? So I kind of made my own makeup and books tag, but like it's makeup and romance book tag um so like I kind of drew inspiration from the original tag but I kind of didn't I kind of made up my own on some of these um so if you want to do this tag go on ahead but I was really inspired to do this by uh Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings because I love her uh videos where she just like talks about books and she does makeup while she does it and I love that so I'm gonna steal her idea thank you Rachel <laughs> and just talk about some books while I do my makeup I'm planning on filming a few other videos after this so like why not show you what makeup I use in my videos and um, just talk about some books. Let's do it. Also, before I get into this video, I just want to mention my nails. Aren't they super pretty? They're super cute. Um, I'm really bad at painting them on my right hand because I'm not left-handed. Um, so some of them do go out of lines, but overall, they're really cute, right? So a nail polish company reached out to me and was wondering if I could try any of their products and show them to you and so I tried them out and look how good it looks so like of course I'm going to share it with you. This brand is called Nail Addict. This is the color that I used. It's called Electric Pink. They sent me five colors. I got to pick whatever colors that I wanted out of their site and there's like hundreds of colors on their site. Um, So I picked electric pink and like the top of the it's really cool the top of the nail polish like tells you what color will look like on your nail so i got this one i have them all in this cute little pink box so i'll show them one by one for you i got this uh like maroon color called take a sip and this is what it looks like on your nails and then we have pretty something this is a red i love a good red nail and then we have um, I love this one. I wanted this one so bad. It's called Hollywood Midnight. And then it looks like this. It's like dark. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but like it's dark blue with sparkles. It really reminded me of the Night Court. So like that's why I picked it up. And then the last one that I picked out is called Ice Queen. This pretty blue color. So I love these. They are gel polishes. So you have to use like the, the special light to like cure it, but then it like dries instantly. I do recommend though, whenever you do, but if you want to buy these nail polishes, um, make sure to use a top coat. I don't think it has to be a gel top coat. I use a regular top coat on top of it because without a top coat, it's still a little sticky afterward. And no matter how many times I like put my hand under the light, it didn't like fully seal over it was still a little sticky and knowing me i'm very clumsy i run into things and it will like smear um so i put a top coat over it and it looks fantastic so i recommend um these nail polishes uh there's a link down below to their website and then i have a code for you so you can get 50 percent off using the code ava's romance and that's also linked down below for you to uh remember if you forget the code but um i absolutely love these and they have so many different colors and i love gel polishes because they can like dry really fast and then i just have to put on a top coat and then wait for the top coat to dry and then they're done and like that's so cute so for gel polishes you have to put your hand under a light like it won't dry naturally like just regular nail polish does and so they do have those lights that i believe on their website that you can like buy that are very tiny and not all that expensive i don't think um and so you can buy one of those too if you don't have a light cure thing um but i really liked this um i definitely would buy more of their stuff really cool i can't wait to try out their other colors like i'm obsessed with them thank you so much nail addict for sending me some of your um nail polishes i actually love them it's so cute and i feel like it would last for a while so if you're interested be sure to check out the link down in the description and use my coupon code to get some money off so i did come up with the questions kind of similar to the makeup and books tag where like i had like a certain makeup product and then a question that goes along with it so first one i have primer and it asks you to name a romance book that just sticks with you because primer has helps stuff stick to your face so first i'll show you what product i use for makeup and then we'll talk about the book um this one the front of it has rubbed off 
because <laughs> I don't know the material just does and so I've used it so often and this has lasted me so long I only know is that this is a NYX brand um and so you unscrew it and then this is a jelly primer and I love it so it's like jelly in here and you put your finger in dip your finger in and then you rub the jelly on your face so when it comes to a romance book that just sticks with me I of course I'm gonna go with a Ruby Dixon and I'm gonna go with The King's Spinster Bride. I just think about this book so much just randomly I'll start thinking about this book about how much I loved it and then the story is so unique. Ugh, I just I adore this book. So yeah this is a uh, short novella romance novella set in a fantasy world where the heroine ends up saving this little boy when she's like 16 and the boy's like maybe eight and it's years later she's been exiled from her country because she used to be the princess of the country now that little boy is the ruler of that country because his father overruled her um and then he comes to seek her out it's years later he's now a grown man and he wants to marry her and they have to go through these barbarian-esque marriage rituals and they were pretty hot <laughs> the next question i have is foundation what is a staple romance that you love i thought about this question because um foundation is kind of like a staple i feel like almost everybody uses foundation i used to not use foundation my mom never taught me that <laughs> you can wear foundation because her skin she's never worn foundation a day in her life i actually had never worn foundation until college i even think my first makeup and book tag that i did when i first started my channel i even say i don't wear foundation um so i learn now i learn now <laughs> so um this is the uh benefit um hello happy brand and shade uh one because i'm a pale bee i'm pale as heck so um we're gonna squirt this onto my hand right here and then take a very dirty and damp beauty blender and tap it and then tap it into my skin here so the question is what is a staple romance that you love and for this one i just thought like the question means like a very popular uh, romance book that's a staple in the romance community that you also love so i would have to go with the brown sister series by um talia hebert so like the first one is get a life chloe brown and i just adore this series um i love every single book the brown sisters are hilarious and so relatable and i think talia Hibbert just has like amazing diversity in her books um she has great chronic illness rep um there's a few characters with autism in here there's great anxiety rep um there's great sexuality rep like different uh sexualities in her books too not just this series like her other books are incredibly diverse as well but i feel like this series is very popular and i feel like it's so well deserved and it's definitely a staple romance book that um everyone should read that i think is actually like legit okay i'm just gonna blend the rest of this in and then i will come back for the third question okay i'm done with my foundation so we're gonna move on to concealer so the question for concealer is name a romance book you wish you could remove from existence i thought of this question because uh we kind of use concealer to remove dark spots remove zits so let's remove a romance book um this one that i have is another nyx brand um, we have NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. Um, so, in shade, I don't know, Alabaster? Alabaster. Again, probably the lightest shade. So I'm going to put this on my face. I always put it a little bit here, a little bit here. I put some this way. I put some on the opposite side as well. I used to watch beauty channel, like uh, makeup channels all the time, and so like... I don't really know where I learned this technique, but like I think I learned it over time. Um, I go down the nose. I also do an arrow and then I will do this right there. So, and then if I also have any like blemishes, I will cover them up. So a book that you wish you could remove from existence. Um, mine would be one that I read earlier this year called Misadventures of a Backup Bride. I think the author is Shayla Black. Man, I did not like this book at all. I don't remember a whole ton. I do remember what I didn't like. So I think like the hero is needing to um, have a fake wife for some reason or like a fake fiance for some reason. And he met this girl at like a party who's like an who wants to be an actress. Um, and so like he calls her up and is like, hey, can you pretend to be the love of my life for this reason? And she was like, yeah, and he's going to pay her and everything. And they like agree. They're like, okay, we're both really attracted to one another, but we can't be in a physical relationship. It would just complicate things. And they both agree on this. And then that plan gets totally thrown out the window 
the moment that they see each other because they agree to this over the phone and they can't keep their hands off of each other and just the guy in here man did i despise him the heroine because she's an actress like a lot of actresses in the world have kind of like been ingrained to be a certain weight and to look a certain way because of society standards um and so she has been on a diet for quite a long time there's this one scene that i remember that i just despised is like they're eating dinner one time he um orders food for her and she's like oh sorry i can't eat that and he can't even before he even like asks her why cannot you eat that he's like you're gonna eat what i tell you to and you're not gonna leave this table until you finish your food i just hate controlling men like that like i cannot and like she didn't explain even explain like why she couldn't eat the food as someone with a food intolerance like if i eat gluten i become violently ill so like if a man were to say that to me and like if she had like a gluten intolerance or gluten or was on celiac or had celiac disease or like even a peanut allergy you'd be in serious doo-doo dude <laughs> it just pissed me off so much i don't like when men do that at all like let the woman eat whatever she wants to eat do not control her that way i just feel like uh men should not do that or people in general should not control what somebody eats literally at all okay my concealer is all done um next we're gonna do bronzer and the question for that is what is a romance book you can't wait to snatch up um because bronzer you're obviously trying to snatch those cheekbones and crap like that kind of interpret it any way you want but like i interpreted it as um you, what is a new release like you can't wait to buy and so for this one i have um the dragon's bride by uh katie robert because hello um oh i also forgot to tell you what it's another nyx <laughs> I, I i'm learning that I, I i really use nyx a lot i don't mean to i just pick and choose things that i think will work this is called a matte bronzer um by nyx um i don't know if there's a specific shade but i just i don't remember i bought these products quite a long time ago um so i'm just taking a brush and i'm gonna go up in the cheekbones i do remember never go down with your bronzer i've always been told to go up that's like little things from beauty channels that i've like remembered um i still watch nikki tutorials sometimes because like I love her but um I don't really watch anybody else honestly um besides Nikki so so I really wanted to talk about the Dragon's Bride this is Katie Roberts a uh, monster romance that's coming out next year that I cannot wait for I am so incredibly excited the cover is just everything the artist for this is so good and like I've seen some um other artwork that she has commissioned for this and like it is hot um, okay, I'm just going to go across the forehead too. And then I also do the temples here. I look way less pale, right? <laughs> and then we're going to talk about blush, which the questions for that is talk about one or some of your favorite romance couples. Um, so for blush right now, I use Revlon Insta Brush, brush, blush, um, and shade, uh, rose gold rose gold kiss so it looks like this and it's like this and then you put it on your cheeks and then i just rub it in sometimes if i feel like it i'll like put it on my nose too i mean why not just put a little on my nose um and then i rub that in with my finger i know some people are like sensitive to not want to use their finger when they put on makeup but like I mean you have fingers why not use them for putting on makeup you know so for this i kind of have like three of them i guess you don't have to choose one for every single one of these i personally picked like three i want to just touch on i also am horrible with names so i don't remember everybody's names but the couple from royally mashed by emma chase i adore them so much the heroine is literally me like i i am this heroine and it's just bizarre how much how similar i am to her and the heroine here was just so swoony he's like the future he's like a prince of this made-up country called wesco and um he's doing like bachelor royal edition and he falls for one of the contestant sisters who like goes on the shoot with them and then the silent waters by renee c cherry of course if y'all know me i adore this flipping romance so much um the couple in here is just amazing the heroine does not speak and the hero is her brother's best friend and it like it's like childhood friends to lovers and oh my gosh it's so cute i love this book many of y'all know that and then of course i adore beck and ellie from barbarians redemption by ruby dixon this is book number i believe 13 a part of the ice planet barbarian series and i just adore them it's my favorite in the series so of course i had to put this on this list next we have eyebrows and this one is a romance book you think everyone should read i put this on here because like i would hope everybody would have eyebrows if you don't have eyebrows 
I'm sorry. Um, my dad has light eyebrows, really light eyebrows, so it looks like he doesn't have any. And so <laughs> one time my sister uh, filled in his eyebrows for him one time and it was hilarious. We had a whole cackle about it. Um, and so this is a romance book you think everybody should read. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you what this was. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I don't know what shade it's in. I can't remember and I don't know I think it's 3.5 it like says like the number on the back um, but I bought a, like a little one and I'm due for getting a new one soon it's like on its last leg for this one a romance book I think everybody should read is of course Radiance by Grace Draven this is a fantasy romance a uh friends to lovers romance that I love these two people are from um two different, two different species of like people on this fantasy world and Ildiko, they're both like spares to their kingdom. So Ildiko is the niece to a human king and she gets put in an arranged marriage with a Kai. Kai are these um, beings who are gray skinned, have yellow eyes and have claws and like fangs and sharp teeth and claws. Um, but they don't really like live together in harmony at all. Like Kai or live in the Kai lands and humans live in the human lands. Uh, Brishan is the spare prince to the Kai kingdom. And so he's put in this arranged marriage. They think the other person is really ugly at first, but like they love them for their personality, like friendship wise. And then it grows into something more. So yeah, I just put those over my brow. I don't do anything special um, because I'm not that skilled at all. So I just fill them in like that. Um, so yep. The next question is eyeshadow. Name your favorite romance book cover. Okay, well first for my eyeshadow okay the only primer that i have currently is from a company i don't support anymore um it's Too faced shadow insurance it's an eyeshadow primer i don't support them i i haven't bought anything from them in years this this is pretty old and i, I honestly don't think makeup expires <laughs> so don't tell me that just because i've had this for a couple years makeup is expired i don't think so there's not even an expiration date on here so it's fine and it still works so like i haven't bought anything from them in a long time so don't worry i'm not supporting too faced and if you don't know too faced is a poopy company they're really rude so i just rub this on my eyes over my lid and then i will put on eyeshadow on top of it it just helps it stay longer hopefully um it gives you like a base and again i'm using my finger because why not use your finger when you have a finger <laughs> When it comes to what eyeshadows I want to use, I brought two different palettes. I have so many palettes, but I brought two different ones that were really pretty. My One of my favorite ones is the Midnight M Masquerade by uh, Colourpop. It's a Disney one. Um, I can't like completely show it because one of them broke, unfortunately, but this is a like, Disney princess collection. And so each shade is like a different, related to a dis dis different Disney princess. So um, like this gold one is Mrs. Potts from like Beauty and the Beast, obviously. And then I also have this pretty palette and so normally I don't just pick one color from one palette I like mix and match <laughs> from different palettes if that makes sense um so we're just gonna go with it I think I'm feeling like a pink mood so we might do that I might pick some of these like pinky colors on here and I do know there's like a bright pink in this one right yes there's a petunia this one's called I think I got this at Urban Outfitters a long time ago um but yep and so when it comes to your favorite romance book cover I have two listed one from a book I've previously read and one I read this year and so one that I read previously not this year is Heart of the Fate by Emma Hamm I just adore this cover i do i think the artist did fantastic on it and i think it's so pretty and it really represents the two characters in here like you can definitely see sorsha the heroine this is a beauty and the beast retelling by the way um dealing with fey and it's in a fantasy land so i really recommend this one if you're you like fey books um and beauty and the beast retellings i think this is done really well but yeah i think sorsha and i forget his name the hero's name but they're represented i feel like really well in the um artwork on the cover and also just by the way i'm not a makeup artist i wouldn't necessarily call myself good at makeup um <laughs> yeah i'm just showing you this in case somebody is curious but i'm not good at makeup so <laughs> if you want to critique me don't because i already know your critiques probably so uh <laughs> and then another one that i love that i read this year is dragon unleashed by grace draven i love this cover i just do i think it is so pretty i think her a lot of her books are like really pretty like this so i'm just putting in some pink from this one i think that's pretty good for now and then i'm gonna grab mama Odie from this palette this little one right here and i think i'm just gonna put it over 
this in the inner corner. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna blend out the top really fast. I'll get like a big blending brush like this and just go like this to blend out the top. I have really deep set eyes. Um, and if you don't know what deep set eyes is, it's like when you look straight ahead and you can't see your eyelids at all. Um, so that's what deep set eyes are. And so I really have deep set eyes. And so I have to kind of like push my eyeshadow up more than normal people because you can't really see it without doing that. Um, so I got to blend it out a little bit and that looks good to me. Um, okay. So the next one, the next step I have is eyeliner. And this one asks you to pick your favorite dark romance. And if you don't want to read dark romance, that's okay. Talk about a uh, romance suspense or like something like that, like something in the darker range or just something along those lines. Um, for this one, I have um, a CoverGirl Mystify Me black liner. Just looks like this. I think I got this off of Amazon, honestly. Um, so what I do is, this is so hard. I normally like have to like put my elbow on a mirror right here. Um, so for this one, I would like to talk about The Mafia and His Angel by Lila James. I can't talk when I do this, so let me do one eye first. Okay, that one's done. Um, so The Mafia and His Angel is a mafia romance series. The heroine is being in an arranged marriage with this evil mafia guy, but she ends up escaping one night. And when she's like leaving the compound, she comes across this car parked outside. And so she jumps into the car. The people in the car don't see her when she jumps in because I think it's like a limo or something. So they don't see her jump into the car. And then once the car parks, she runs out of the car and into a house so that it stops at and she hides under the bed. Little did she know that the house that she went into is the sworn enemy to the mafia guy that she was going to marry. The hero sees her. He thinks that she's a spy, but she's not a spy. But like this book is like continuous in three books. So each book in the trilogy is centered around the same couple. So it is a trilogy. Um, and you need to read them in order because it's around the same couple. But like this series has every single trigger you could possibly think of it's oh my gosh it is very dark but like i think it was beautiful in the end like their romance was great okay sorry i have to do the other eye okay i think that's good um but yeah i really love this dark romance and i definitely want to read more dark romances this one is definitely the darkest one i've ever read but it's also really good, I think. Okay, the next step is mascara. And this one asks you to um, talk about your favorite slow burn or long romance. So if you don't really like slow burn romances, um, maybe talk about a long romance book that you love, um, like long in length. Um, but I'm gonna talk about a slow burn romance because I feel like slow burn romances also have to be long. So first what I do with my mascara is I have a mascara primer and I have the actual mascara. Um, I put on the primer because I've learned that um, because of my deep set eyes, I most of the time automatically, whenever I wear mascara, will get a line of mascara up here because my eyelashes are constantly touching the lid up here or like the bone up here, um, the brow bone. And so uh, you put this primer on so that it doesn't smear anymore. Hopefully it prevents that as much as possible. So that's why I put on mascara primer to, to help with that because I hate the feeling of like someone being like, hey, you got some mascara up here. And it just, it's embarrassing to me. It's, I hate it so much. <laughs> um, and so this is yeah, your favorite slow burn or long romance book. I'm gonna talk about two. So like, I'll talk about one when I'm putting on my primer and then two when I put on my mascara. Okay, I forgot to also tell you the brand. This is Lacombe, Lacombe? Is it Lacombe or Lacombe? I don't know. Sills Booster XL. That's what it looks like. It's like the little mini one. I think all this is like a free thing at um, Ulta. I love Ulta, if you cannot tell. Most of these products are from Ulta. Um, so I'll put this on while I chat about it. So the first one that I have is Just a Heartbeat Away by Cara Bastone. Hero's son used to be in our heroine's kindergarten class. And um, around the time when he was in this class, his wife died. He was really struggling to be a single parent and this teacher ended up helping him and giving him some tips on how to be a single father and like helping him through this process. It's years later, a couple years later, and now the heroine is a counselor at a different school. She's not, she's not a teacher anymore. She wanted to be a counselor. And so the hero, hero's son ends up actually being in that school as well. And so the two of them come in contact again. They want each other so bad, but two, the both of them are like, really scared to admit their feelings for one another. This one is an age gap romance and he's kind of resistant to ask her out or anything because she is so much younger than him. I think she's in her 20s and he's like in his early 40s or late 
30s if I'm not mistaken and he's just like she's a young 20 year old she's never going to want to be with a older guy like me who has a kid and isn't like partying every day of the week and he doesn't realize that that's what she wants as a person just because you're in your 20s doesn't mean that's what you want out of life all the time um and so I loved that this is a slow burn romance for sure there's an awesome caretaking scene in here and I just love the kid in here it's really great and so this one is the same brand Lacombe Lacome. Um, I cannot pronounce that. Definiciles? I don't know. <laughs> I just normally, I'm not picky with mascara. Like, I'll just pick one that I have that I haven't used yet because I do have a bunch of these mini little freebie ones that Ulta has given me. Um, so I'll put this on and then I'll talk about my other one, which is the Aspect and Anchor series for Ruby Dixon. The first one in that series is Bound to the Battle God. Now, remember how I talked about the King's Spinster Bride at the beginning of this video? Well, this is like book one in this series. The King's Spinster Bride is a prequel novella. The books in this series are like over 600 pages, like the main books. There's two out right now. And I think the third one is coming out very soon. And so, yeah, this is about like human women who get sucked into this portal from like they live on Earth and they get sucked into a portal into this fantasy land and they try to like survive on this fantasy land. And both like in the both of the books that are out so far, like they get stuck with a god that has been cast down from kind of like think about Mount Olympus, like Zeus cast down his children um, because they were misbehaving, kind of like the same thing. And so these gods need a human anchor to anchor them to the world. And so these heroines end up becoming those anchors. So I love Ruby Dixon. So of course I love this series. And like, I loved how slow burn this was. This is a freaking 600 page book. I really recommend the audiobooks if you're into audiobooks because they're really good. Okay, so that's all my mascara done. Whew, I have to let it dry. The next question is highlighter. Name a character in a romance that makes you smile whenever you think about them. This highlighter that I use, I love this one. It's the e.l.f. one. E.l.f. And then I will rub it across my cheekbones. Okay, so a character that makes you smile every time you think about them. I have two heroes and one heroine. Um, so I think about Graham from Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks literally all the time. And I love him. Oh my gosh. Uh, he just fully loves the heroine in this book. He's amazing. He's my kind of hero. I love him. I adore him. He's just so incredibly sweet. Oh my gosh. And then I also love Ed from Transcendence because he's just a huge softy even when he is like a caveman. He's so cute. Um, And then I also love... Pandora from Devil in Winter by Lisa Claybus. This is the uh, third book in the Ravenel series. And like, I love her. Um, she is so quirky and fun. She just wants to make board games all day long. And that's like not what a lady in society is supposed to want. Um, but she wants it. And so yeah, I love th those three characters. I obviously love more characters, but like, those are three that I could think off of the top of my head. Um, so that's highlighter all done. And then the last step I have is lips, lipstick, whatever you use to put on your lips. And this one is a character you wish you could kiss. Um, so I have two. <laughs> okay, before we talk about that, I think I'm gonna do a nudish lip. So I'll use, yeah, I'll use a nude liner. This one is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, True Instant Color, shade 04. Um, I do need to sharpen it. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I'll just align my lips like this. Give me a minute. This is taking a minute. <laughs> okay, so those are lined right now. Um, so a character you wish you could kiss. I have two, okay? Uh, both of them are books that I read this year. We have Theo from Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese. Holy crap, I want this man in real life. I want this man in real life. This is a guy. It's the college romance. The guy has a stutter. He is the sweetest bean ever. He's an innocent hero, if you know what I mean. And the heroine is in the class he is a TA for, and she notices him, and she just wants him so bad. So, like, the heroine is kind of going after the hero more so in this one. Um, but Theo in here, I just adore him. He is so self-aware, and he just... The things he does for this girl are so cute. Um, so I would definitely kiss it, obviously. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you what this product was. This is the All May, I don't know what shade, it, oh, Go Wild. All May Go Wild. Um, I really love their lipsticks. It's like really creamy and nice and it stays on for a while. So I recommend this a lot. Um, and then the other one is Ren from Always Only You. He's so cute. It's another innocent hero, y'all. Like. I love a good innocent hero. Um, so I love him. 
he is so sweet and soft he will do anything for frankie the heroine i adore him so stinking much and like i just feel like both of these guys would be great kissers okay i just feel like it okay i am also going over that lipstick with the neutrogena moisture smooth color stick shade 20 i love the neutrogena color sticks i'm obsessed with them they are soft and buttery and like they will last for a little bit and like some things with lipsticks with me like i cannot stand matte lipsticks because i'm very much a texture person and the texture of matte lipstick <sighs> makes me want to gag there are some textures in the world that just when i touch them when i feel them i feel ill and that's what happens with matte lipstick and so whenever i wear matte lipstick i immediately have to put on lip gloss like i cannot <laughs> and so these are like smooth and buttery and feel so nice and so i just love going over my nude with this like a little bit of a more pinky shade so and that is it that is my makeup all done for my video that i'm about to film i'm about to film um what am i about to film? i think i'm about to film my grumpy sunshine recommendation video so look forward to that <laughs> so here's the look all complete i'm probably gonna put in some earrings um and then it'd be all good to go i'm not gonna tag anyone specifically but feel free to do this tag if you want to i'm gonna leave all the questions down below for you to check out um but yeah um thank y'all so so much for watching if you watch all the way to this point leave me any makeup related emoji you want um thank you so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all